Whistleblower Ruth Bader Ginsburg is deathly ill and in a medically induced coma. Fears of massive unrest once public finds out the truth. This is by the Clover Chronicle. I'm going to leave a link below. A source who identifies herself as Lindsay B. has taken to image the board a dire message about Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Since this website is essentially an anonymous forum and identifies as not normally conformed, we cannot say with certainty that the following information is true. We're only reporting on this because we think our readers might find it interesting. Lindsay began to report her post by saying that someone close to Ruth have decided to come here to tell you the truth about what is happening because I fear there's going to be massive unrest once the whole nation finds out what has been hidden from them. You can call me Lindsay B for future reference, but that's not my real name, obviously. The whistleblower continued and debunked by any rumors floating around saying, Ginsburg is already deceased. Ruth is not dead. Like others have suggested, she is medically induced coma at an undisclosed location. Ruth is deathly ill with pneumonia and has multiple infections related to her recent lung cancer, surgery, and the accident fractured her ribs. Lindsay then reveals some shocking information, if true. Big players on the Democratic side of things are doing everything they can to cover this up and keep Ruth out of the spotlight and alive, through life support if necessary. They do not want under any circumstance for Trump picking another justice to serve on the Supreme Court. This would be devastating to their long-term plans, so I have been told. They plan on continuing the charade until the 2020 election and will casually announce that she has passed away after a new damn president has took office. If Trump remains in office and wins re-election, I'm not sure what they will do. This photo below is supposedly from Ginsburg hospital room or bedroom. Nurses were moving her over on her side to prevent bed sores. Ruth Bader Ginsburg deathly ill. The whistleblower has revealed the alleged location of Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is in a Nevada desert. About the undisclosed location, I can tell you this much. Ruth is currently located at a facility in Nevada Desert. Sorry, but I cannot say much more than that. Update number two. Here's an enhanced version of the image posted by Lindsay. You can clearly see a face near the bottom. Is this really Ginsburg? RBG enhanced. Update three. It appears the whistleblower is getting a bit paranoid. Another update from Lindsay B. A few folks around here are starting to look at me strangely. I'm not sure what's going on. Who has the info posted shared elsewhere? Still hasn't had a chance to snap another photo. Update number four. Lindsay B has not posted again. Update number five. Here's some interesting facts that make the alleged claim Ginsburg deathly ill plausible. RBG is 85 years old, just for reference. Average life expectancy of a woman in the U.S. is 81. RBG has been on the SCOTUS since 1993. In 1999, she was diagnosed with colon cancer, underwent therapy surgery, and never missed a day off the bench. On February 5th of 2009, RBG underwent surgery for pancreatic cancer. The Tampa Bay Times offered a grim outlook. Odds are, Ruth Bader Ginsburg will not survive pancreatic cancer. Yet she returned to the bench on February 23rd of 2009. In November 2014, RBG has had heart surgery to replace a stent. November 8th, 2018, she fractured three ribs in a fall. A day later, she had returned to work. The November 8th fall led to a CT scan which showed cancerous nodules on her lungs. On November 21st, she underwent a left lung lobotomy. Prior to December 21st, RBG has never missed a day of oral argument during her 25 years serving as SCOTUS. She was discharged in December. On January 7th, RBG missed Supreme Court arguments for the first time. Court spokeswoman Kathy Arberg said the 85-year-old justice is continued to recuperate and work from home after doctors removed two cancerous growths from her lungs on December 21st. On January 9th of 2019, TMZ claims to have spotted RBG for the first time since undergoing surgery. If you watch the video, you can see the footage is not entirely compelling. On January 21st of 2019, Fox and Friends accidentally shows graphics saying RBG is dead and that apparently stemmed from a technical error. 
I'm sure it'd be nice if someone, police, would do a welfare check and see if she's still okay. James Woods. So where's Roof? Asking for a nation. RBG, where you be? Hashtag. Update number six. We're not sure what to make of this. Here's the whistleblower's latest post. RBG whistleblower. Help. Strange Craigslist ad asks for anyone who resembles Ruth Bader Ginsburg to get in contact immediately. Related. Hashtag where's Roof. New social media hashtag trend as some are demanding proof Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is still alive. And if her condition worsens, I would not be surprised if they try to freeze her body through cryogenesis so Trump can never choose the next Supreme Court Justice. So there you go. Ruth is doing really, really well, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she's having a little bit of a problem with her makeup. But other than that... Okay, well, looks like she'll be on the court for a while, but somebody needs to get a dustpan. Now, that was fake news. That was actually from the Dark Crystal and, and some foreign language of it, but it's okay. Let's now go to what's really happening to her at the military hospital. This is real. This is real news. She's doing fine. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, judge. A woman barely alive. Gentle people, we can rebuild her. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic woman. Ginsburg will be that woman. Better than she was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. seconds she's incredible folks and that's real news the six billion dollar woman you're welcome to take this trip with me let's wake up a few people peace providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance click here subscribe